Hello, my name is Dr. Joseph Fredrickson. I'm the director here of the Weiser Science Museum, and today we're celebrating Shark Week. Now, sharks don't have a fossil record here in Wisconsin. We do find their fossils going all the way back to the Silurian period, a very, very long time ago. Now, everyone is probably familiar with some shark fossils, probably teeth, which are usually the most common. This is actually a megalodon, a very famous giant shark uh, that we find on the coasts along North America. The shark that we're gonna talk about today, though, is a special one to us at the museum because it's one that was actually discovered by myself, my wife, and our collections manager, Scott Schaefer. This is a vertebra from an animal called Leptostyrax, and it was a shark that lived in the early Cretaceous of Texas. Now you'll notice that this bone looks very flat. This is actually a backbone from this animal, and it's actually hard, just like the ones that are in our bodies. Now you may say to yourself, I thought sharks have cartilage for bones, which is a soft tissue that makes our nose or our ears. Well, in some cases, this cartilage becomes calcified or mineralized, which means that it becomes hard, allowing muscle attachment for the animal to be able to swim or move its back in a side-to-side -side direction. Now these are very, very large for an animal living at that time. This would tell us that this animal was probably about 20 to 27 feet long. That would be about the size of Jaws from the movie, which was about 24 feet long. Pretty impressive. We'd like to thank you for joining us today. Have a fantastic Fossil Friday and a wonderful Shark Week.